Hello friends, welcome to my channel. We show in the last video how to display relationship data into data table. And in this tutorial, we will look how to display image in data table in Laravel application. I have already set up data table in this application. If you haven't seen the data table setup video, please watch it. And how to set up data table with generator you can watch it link given in description i created this post in last tutorial when we create how to display relationship with data table first of all displaying image in this data table we need to add one field in database so let's create migration first stop the server and write one migration Let's run this migration. Migration created successfully and let's open in editor. You can found inside data table directory and check last migration. You can see here two method created for up and for down. Let's specify here dollar table. Specify string because database type is Worker specify here field name image URL. Also, we need to remove this field when migration is rolled back, so we need to specify here drop column. So, let's specify dollar table and drop column and specify image url field name let's run this migration in terminal psp partition migrate you can see here migration run successfully next step is we need to add this column in fillable in post table let's open post model first you need to specify here image URL you need to require to add this field in fillable array because if you does not add and try to store then this post model ignore this field because it only allow which are there in this array so we need to add here so we added now next step is we need to add input field in view so let's open view in field dot blade file we need to put here I have this code of input field which I created in last file upload tutorial so I use it here also CSS already we I created in last video you can see in app dot SCS here is CSS and also I created one function in post repository for create post using image intervention if you still not seen file upload tutorial you can see it I given tutorial link in description so you can find it and watch it so let's use this method in post controller 
right now we are using base repository function but now we are using our custom method for storing file after adding this CSS do not forget to run npm run development command and also you need to install npm I have already did because I used this code in last tutorial next step is we need to display image in data table so let's open post data table and add in column so specify here image URL let's start server PSP partition so and refresh the browser you can see here image URL column displaying in data table so let's create one more post with image this is second post with image this is image post select image and save it post created with image and you can see here only plain path displaying here but we need to display proper image in data table so we need to make some change in this method we need to add one more column so let's edit specify add column and specify here image URL specify function specify data here write return statement now we, we need to specify image tag here so let's specify img tag and specify src we need to specify column name from data so specify image URL here and let's specify width because our image is large and also specify height so let's refresh the browser displaying image tag instead of image because we need to specify row column here so we need to specify image URL here so it's not displaying image it's displaying only image instead of HTML now you can see here image displaying properly also we need to put some validation when image is uh, not available in database that time we only need to return empty so let's specify here if image is uh, empty return empty string and let's 
refresh the browser you can see here so you can easily display image and other HTML code using add column method of data table and do not forget to add that column in row columns and you can easily display checkbox and any other HTML thing using add column and you also need to specify column name here and you can easily edit it thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel please like share and comment thank you